Dallas County announced today 29 children have been hospitalized with COVID-19 in the first three weeks of July. This all happening as we're just weeks away from school. Parents have to make some tough decisions right now. Ariel Placencia joins us now. And Ariel, parents are dealing with a lot of uncertainty and, and stress, to say the least. Oh yeah, Izzy, bottom line is there are certainly more questions than there are answers these days. But when it comes to your child's education, that's when you don't want any uncertainty or any unanswered questions. And so that's why this evening, we're gonna talk about some of the most updated information that might help you get some answers. And we're gonna start with the latest information coming from the CDC that they put out yesterday on getting ready to go back to school. And they actually talked about Texas specifically. They said that this summer, our state reported more than 1,300 COVID-19 cases in child care centers. However, twice as many staff members, the CDC says, have been diagnosed as children, suggesting that children may be at lower risk of getting COVID-19 than adults. So that's a little bit of good news, but at the same time in that update, the CDC says computer simulations from Europe have suggested that school reopenings may further increase transmission risk in communities where transmission is already high and that more research is needed. So according to the experts, there's still a lot up in the air at this point, but if you're feeling confused, just know that you're not alone. The Center for Integrative Counseling and Psychology tells me that they've seen an uptick in calls from parents recently. So here are a few questions the center tells me that they're suggesting that parents ask themselves when making decisions about the fall. Focusing on what the child needs developmentally and how we can get that in given our circumstances. So our therapists are talking to parents about ways their kids can have social interaction, ways that they can handle also change. So here's what Dr. Schwal from the center recommends, especially when it comes to managing that screen time. Set a schedule, he says, and then make sure that it's visible for all to see. Use a physical timer to make sure you stick to it. Maybe write it out on a whiteboard and then be consistent with that schedule every single day. Now, I posted more information from Dr. Schwal as well as a link to that updated information from the CDC if you want to read more about it. That's all over on our website, WFA.com.